This dude right here, he's about to me the new Kamala. Will this red man steal him from TNA? Or uh, Global Force Wrestling? I want to know. Anyway, I mean, you know, I'm very impressed by him. And, uh, believe it or not, I have seen interviews of Congo Kong when he's not in character. He's a uh, very well-spoken man. You would never know that it was him when he's not in character. Uh, yeah, he's a big man, but uh, you really never know. Who who he is? Uh, on uh, May the thirteenth, this Saturday, uh, he's supposed to be in a tag team match on May thirteenth uh, of this year, of twenty seventeen. He's supposed to be in a tag team match in Dallas, Texas. Uh, at Soul Wrestling Promotion, uh, Championship Wrestling, and um, I have bought tickets to that match to that show about last week. I already bought tickets, and uh, if everything stays the same, I hope we show up. You know. Um. I'm very impressed by him. He's very agile. And, uh, I guess he's TNA's new monster. You know, uh, they have been having uh, Abyss, but now they have Congo Kong. Look at this. Boom! I feel sorry for that little old man. The match is almost over with. But I do believe that he's going to be the next Kamala. I believe he'll probably work in TNA for a couple more, about another year. And uh, believe it or not, WWE gonna want this young man, but you know they gonna make him sign over his rights and all that mess, which be the biggest mistake he can make. But uh, look at this move, boom! It's over. Yep, he ain't broken in half, some room. He about dead or something. But you know that move right there he doing? Uh, I done seen Kevin Owens do the same move. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Here we go. It's over, y'all. Congo Kong. The next Kamala. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye.